What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video today. I have another custom figure showcase for you guys. I have six brand new customs that I finished yesterday that I want to show off to you guys. We got Bobby Roode, Randy Orton, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, Cian Almas, and Brock Lesnar to show you guys. Just like all the other custom showcase videos, I'm just going to start with the first one, explain the parts I used, what all I did to create it, and then move all the way through until we get through all of them. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Alright guys, this first one we got up right here is Brock Lesnar, and all I did was take the WrestleMania 32 Elite Brock Lesnar, and then did a torso swap and a head swap, so I wanted to have like his old Ruthless Aggression Era look in the black trunks, um, with the little spinal logo right there, and I wanted to have his like updated torso, that way like if I ever wanted to bring him into the pick fed, I wanted him to rock the shorts, I don't like his uh, UFC look, I like his classic Ruthless Aggression Era look, so... I wanted him to have the tattoo, of course, so I just did the torso swap and then threw a different head scan on there instead of that screaming one from the WrestleMania Elite. I really like the way it came out. Um, the waist is a little bit loose, but no biggies. I could still pose them around and stuff like that, but I was happy with the way this figure turned out. Next up, guys, we have this custom elite Bobby Roode, and I do believe that I saw Hero do this first, so shout out to Hero for this, but it is a Damian Mizdow with the NXT Target exclusive Bobby Roode basic arms and head. I have not removed the logos just yet. Um, I swapped the lower legs with some legs from my fodder bin and then threw some Randy Orton boots and larger knee pads on there. I really love the way this figure looks. I know we are getting an NXT Elite Bobby Roode, but I believe he is in black trunks. So it'll be really cool to have a black trunks Bobby Roode and a white trunks Bobby Roode when that one drops. But I love the way this came out. I think it works really, really well. Um, for Bobby Roode, and I, I like this torso, I think, better for him over the one that they're going to use, that Apollo Crew style, but overall, still a sick custom. Next up, guys, we have this Custom Elite CN Almas NXT Champion right here. All this is is a Sin Cara Elite with an arm swap and a head swap, and it actually runs a little bit deeper than that. I found these arms in my crowd. They were the Hall of Fame Eddie Guerrero Target, Target Exclusive Arms, and they had, like, the tape on the hands, so all I did was swap the hands with Sin Cara, and then I popped the Sin Cara arms off of this Elite, put these arms on there with these hands, put the basic CN Almas head scan on there, and I think it works really well. I love his white attire that he wears in real life. I think this totally works for a uh, CN Almas right now. And I hate that the head skin is really out of date now, but I still like this figure. And this is not my original plan for this Sin Cara. I was going to do something else with it, but it really didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So I just turned him into CN Almas, and I'm happy with the way it turned out. Alright guys, up next we have this Custom Elite Vindication Kevin Owens, and this is the Elite 53 Kevin Owens base. I got my custom shirt from my, my boy Ring Bling Customs. All I did was cut off the uh, rubber shirt that they give us with the Elite 53, threw on this custom t-shirt that says Kevin Owens Show in the Vindication font. You can't really see it that well, but it is um, blue and it fades to white with a yellow outline, just like Vindication's colors. It says, Kevin Owens Show. I painted the red KO blue on there, and it's a little bit darker, obviously, than this. And when I first painted it, I did not know that's what the uh, color was of the shirt, so that is on me. But I removed the fight from over here because it was red with a white outline, and I can't get in there and paint all that red. So I just removed it, and I think it worked out pretty well. I love the way this Kevin Owens looks. Um, this is the ultimate Kevin Owens, so we got the Rowan arms and the kick pads on there. Turned out really well. Love the way this Kevin Owens looks, and I know my brother can't wait to use this on his show. But now let's move on to the next custom. Up next, guys, we have my second favorite wrestler of all time. We have this custom elite Randy Orton. And I got this idea from, um, or Beast Nation sort of inspired it when he did his Undertaker um, with the snake pants. This sort of inspired this custom. And um, this is the Elite 35 Randy Orton with a hand and head swap with his basic. I don't know what series, but it's the best Randy Orton basic. I love this head scan. And starting out first, I wanted to do his trunks in this green color, but I figured out that it would not cover the blue very well. So then the idea popped in my head, well, what if I did gray and then painted the white of the outline of the design green? And I really love the way this looks. I did the green because I really love the... Um, you know, the, it's like a viper. It's like the Venom or whatever um, that he's rocking. You know, he has his green snake logo right now anyway, and I really think it turned out well. I love the way it looks um, from far away. It looks really nice as well, and I just love the way the green pops off of the gray. And in person, it kind of gives it like a... Uh, 
cool gray sort of bluish gray color but my wife told me that I was seeing things and it's actually gray so maybe she is correct she usually is always right so um, I'll roll with that I love the way this Orton looks please let me know what you think down in the comment section below this is a fantasy attire I wanted to do snake skin like pattern on the trunks but I really didn't know how to go about that so if anybody wanted like to help me out with that please let me know down in the comment section below but now let's move on to the last custom in this video and last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we have this custom elite fantasy attire, blue, gray, and black Seth Rollins figure. And it's kind of funny. This is a funny story. When I first started out, um, I was going to do a Spider-Man Seth Rollins. And when I was in the middle of this, I was painting all of the black on this blue. And when I got done, I looked at it and I was like, Jesus Christ, this looks beautiful on itself. I don't want to go in there and ruin it with all that red and spider web pattern. So I just kept it like this. Let me know down in the comment section below if you would like to see the full Spider-Man Seth Rollins. But I freaking love this blue, black, and gray. When I was growing up, um, blue, black, and gray were like my favorite colors. I always used to like create teams on Madden and other video games with these colors. I just think they always meshed well. And really nostalgia for me right here. Seeing this, I can remember now why I love that so much. Um, I don't think anything will beat my blue or my white I should say but this is just so nice I love how clean this is the stripes and everything really look nice this is the best blue paint I've ever worked with it just covers really well and I love the way this Seth Rollins turned out let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of it I'm sure that it has already been posted on Instagram but let me know I painted the wristbands as well and it just I love the way this Seth Rollins look really proud of the way it came out um, but that is the last custom figure that we have for this video but yes, guys, that is all the customs that I have for you today on this episode of the Custom Showcase. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like, leave a comment down below what your favorite custom is from this video. Do you like the Seth Rollins the way it is now, or would you like me to go ahead and do the Spider-Man? Um, if you guys vote on the Spider-Man more than the way it is now, then I'll probably just use that extra TNF Seth Rollins that I have and just go ahead and do it out of that because I am loving the way the blue, gray, and black looks. I love the way the Orton looks. Let me know what you think of that do you appreciate this vindication um kevin owens right here subscribe for more epic wwe and wwe figure related videos and i will see you guys in the next video thank you